Wrapping up his state visit to Singapore, the U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo revealed that his North Korean counterpart, Ri Yong-ho, restated the regime's clear commitment to denuclearize when they met at a forum over the weekend. But during the same event, Ri publicly criticized the Trump administration for not taking what he called constructive steps to build trust. Meanwhile, the U.S. National Security Advisor John Bolton says it's North Korea that has not taken enough steps to denuclearize. There's a lot of who said what there, and we'll try to make more sense of where each side stands at this point with an expert in just a bit, right after this report by Kim Hyo-sun. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says North Korean Foreign Minister Lee yong ho has made clear the regime's commitment to denuclearize. Returning home from his trip to Southeast Asia following the ASEAN Regional Forum, Pompeo told reporters that his North Korean counterpart should deliver on the commitments Pyongyang has made. Asked about the speech Lee gave in Singapore on Saturday, during which he called for a, quote, simultaneous and phased approach by both Washington and Pyongyang, Pompeo downplayed concerns by saying such a remark is in stark contrast with hatred expressed by the North during last year's forum. Although he failed to sit down one-on-one -on -one with his North Korean counterpart in Singapore, Pompeo stressed numerous times that lots of conversations are taking place between the two countries. Meanwhile, CNN reported Monday that North Korea believes there is a strong possibility of a second summit between its leader Kim Jong-un and U.S. President Donald Trump. Citing an American government official, CNN explained that the recent exchange of letters between the two leaders is seen as a positive sign. The official was also quoted as saying the summit could happen before the end of the year. Kim Yo-san, Arirang News.